They've brought them to the local juvenile centre. Well, come on in, I'll show you around. I wanted them to share their stories about their lives because they'll have similar lives, but they're still allowed to be at home. Here, you don't get to have a bad night or a bad day or a bad moment. You do what you're told to do or you go to jail. First of all, every kid here goes to school. Um, if you're not in school, you're in jail, one of the two. Most of our kids here are on probation, so they've done some kind of an act to get them in the court system, some type of a criminal act. We have one kid here who was drinking and driving, and that's why he was here. Drinking and driving. That's exactly the fear that keeps Troy's parents up at night. We've had kids stay here for five, six, seven years because they just refuse to follow the program. And you know what? If you refuse to follow the program, you'll be here until you follow it. But our rev head Troy is just not getting the message. I think it looks pretty easy. You want to stay? Hey, Solomon, can we do an intake? I can do an intake right now. If you want to stay, I can sign you that bedroom right there. All right. <laughs> you kind of pissed me off a little bit because you like it here. If a kid comes here and stays, once they're here, it's not their choice whether or not they go home. You understand that? It's always better at home. I haven't seen family, friends, nothing. It's always better at home. Back home, Troy's had more than one run in with the law. My question is, can you control your behavior? Um, I can control my behavior when I'm not drinking, so uh, it's like, it's pretty tough to not drink, but can yeah. You, can you tell us why you drink? I usually drink to make myself happy. I, what like, makes you not happy? Just adults trying to tell me what to do, sort of stuff. You kind of made me angry because, because I know there are kids that benefit from being here, and kids like you that sort of a smart mouth kid. It would make me very angry if you was here taking up space for someone who really needs to be here, and I can guarantee you would not have fun. First got me in trouble was like, I was partying a lot and doing a bunch of drugs, and I had taken my mom's vehicle and got into a little fender bender. I could have been seriously hurt. If you could do something over again, what would you do over it? Not take the car, not party. It got me into a lot of trouble. I sort of has scared me that I haven't been caught for most of the shit that I've done, but if I'd been caught, I would have been sent straight to jail. Would have screwed up my life. It is making me think just mainly about my drinking and um, what I'm going to be doing with the rest of my life. Aza, too, is learning just how good she's got it at home. I ran away because um, my mom, I walked in and I saw my mom doing drugs. And so I just ran away and then I came here. I think Caitlin would love to be in your situation, to have a caring mom, mm. somebody who looks after her, and if she don't have that. You know, when, with the drugs and alcohol, in my mind, I thought that would help me, but it really doesn't. It makes things much worse. I'm learning now. I took so much for granted, and I really was just a terror to my mom. Definitely seeing that this is the road I could have been leading towards. It definitely makes me want to straighten out and it just made me think, you know what? I don't want to end up here. I, I want to be at home with my family. But first, she's got some trust issues she needs to sort out with this family.